Hi, my name is Sam and today we're going to learn how to use the camera path object in Avisa. So to start out, we're first going to open some data. So we're going to click on open data and we're going to go down to teddy bear and we're going to select all the slices and click OK. So now that it's loaded in, we don't actually need the ortho slice for this tutorial, so we're going to delete it. And instead, we're going to create a volume rendering. We're going to right click on Teddy Bear and search volume rendering. And then we're going to edit the volume rendering so it looks good. All right, there we go. So the final step I want to do is I want to move the Teddy Bear so it's facing us. All right, perfect. Next, we're going to create the camera path object. So we're going to right click, create object, and we're going to search camera path, just like that. And it created a camera path object. Now we're going to program the camera path. So to do that, we're going to click on the camera path editor button and see how it created this new viewer five. This viewer five is used to view the camera path, whereas the main viewer is used to program the camera path. So now let's add our first keyframe. So to do that, we just click add. So there's a couple things I want you to notice now. So first, it created this pyramid in viewer five. This indicates the camera position of the keyframe. Next, I want you to notice how there's a, now a white line on the time slider. So this indicates there's a keyframe at time zero. So now we're going to add a second keyframe. So we're going to use the seek tool and zoom in on the bear's notes, just like that. And we're going to click add. So now we've added two separate keyframes, one at time zero and one at time 10. So for our third and final keyframe, we're just going to change the rotation of our camera viewer. So we're going to zoom up like this. And now we're looking down on the bear's nose and we're just going to click add. So now we have three separate keyframes at time points 0, 10, and 20, just like that. So as I've just shown you, when you select a keyframe in this viewer 5, it shows you what this viewpoint of the keyframe is in the main viewer. Also, you can then edit these keyframes. So if I wanted to move this keyframe a little bit up, I can just select the keyframe and just drag it up in the viewer, just like that. Awesome, that looks great. So now we're done creating these keyframes and programming the path of the camera editor. So we're gonna exit out of viewer five, and now we're just gonna click play and see what it looks like. Awesome. So I've played through when you click the play button, you can also play it backwards by clicking this button just like that. So now we're gonna learn how to animate this in the animation director. So we're gonna head over to the animation director. The first thing to do whenever you create a new animation is to name it. So we're gonna name this camera path, just like that. And we're then we're gonna click on the time dial button and select time value in the camera path object. So this automatically added a keyframe at time zero. Then we want it to complete the camera path within six seconds. So we're going to move this to time six, just like that. And then we're going to move this to time 20. And then we're going to click time value again. So these times don't need to line up. We can go through 20 time points in here while only going through six seconds in our animation editor. So now let's see what it did. So we're going to jump to start and then click play. All right. Thank you so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.